I am a registered professional engineer and worked as a civil engineer, structural and transportation for the last 30 years, which 23 years of that was for city of St. Petersburg. When I decided I want to retire, I went and took my real estate license in September 2021. I started the work the same month. I was very fortunate to be able to join one of the best teams possible. I had no idea how to find houses for sale, how to find buyers that they want to buy a house, or how to start. I was just new to the business and I really wanted to try it very hard. I think it was in the second week of my real estate career that Divya mentioned it in the team meeting, we need to reach out to Fizbos. I had no idea what does Fizbo mean, but I'm not shy. I told her, what is Fizbo? And she explained it's for sale by owner. And I said, how can you reach out to them? She said, Zillow is usually a good source and there are other sources. At that night, I went home and I looked at Zillow and I checked all the home for sale by owners and I sorted out from the highest to the lowest. The first house that came out was the house on 5030 Sunrise Drive South in St. Petersburg asking $8.5 million. And actually it was for sale for the last four years. The listing was sale by owner for a while and then it was listed by an agent and then i saw it was in netflix selling tampa bay the first episode the first house was featuring the home on 5030 sunrise drive south in saint petersburg i watched the netflix show and i was amazed of it right then i decided this will be my first listing for sale by owner and I will get this listing and I will sell it. It seemed very unrealistic, but that's the goal I set for myself. It took me three months, back and forth, meeting, talking on the phone, texting with the owner. Finally, we listed that home on December 31st, 2021 for $8.5 million. The selling agent was me and their Jack Smith team. I myself couldn't believe it either, that my first listing as a real estate agent after three months is $8.5 million feasible. I didn't have dream if I can sell it, but I was thinking just having this listing gives me the motivation I need to go after more listings. We listed 5030 Sunrise Drive South in St. Petersburg for 8.5 million as a single family home mansion, 10,000 square feet, beautiful historic home that was not registered as historic home and 4.4 acres of waterfront lot. That was a huge property for lots of options that you could have in that property. During the six months that we had the listing, we showed it to so many people. And of course, it always took us at least two hours to show. And we never showed it unless we see the proof of fund because it is very important that we know the person who's coming to see has the ability to buy this property. I finally found a buyer from California that I was representing as a buyer agent and a seller agent, which put an offer for almost full price for the house. The offer was solid. We had the proof of fund. We had all the information and we were getting ready to close in May, 2022. The seller asked to postpone the closing to June because they were traveling and they didn't want to uh, distract themselves of moving. And of course the buyer agreed. 
This extension continued by even by seller or buyer month to month until we got to the point that we were all frustrated. In October, the seller decided he doesn't want to extend it anymore and he called it off. Of course, in October 2022, the market was not the same as when we listed the house in January 2022. And the situation has changed and the place was in the market for a long time for no reason. And everybody's had the question of why we couldn't sell. In October 2022, I decided that I want to be a single agent. The owner of 5030 Sunrise Drive asked me if I'm willing to list his home again. This time, he was not a FISBO. He didn't even want to start FISBO. He just called me and asked me to list his home. And I was honored to do that. I had to mention to him that I'm not with the team and I'm a single agent, but I will be happily to do it. And he had no problem with that. He said, I'm listing with you. This time I decided to try another approach for 5030 Sunrise Drive South in St. Petersburg. I listed the place as a 4.4 acres of waterfront lot in St. Petersburg, close to downtown. And I mentioned that you get 10,000 square feet of a mansion for free. The free part was giving me the privilege of not showing inside if I don't have to, and not hearing them about all the issues that this old house might have. The showings was easier, but mostly I had people calling me from all over the country, as well as Canada, finding out about what options are available for these 4.4 acres of waterfront house. I was talking to so many people about so many projects, and I even reached out to the city of St. Petersburg to figure it out what kind of permits we can get and what kind of rezoning we can have and what are the options that is possible in this 4.4 acres of waterfront. To make the story short, a cash buyer from out of state asked to see the property. They had an agent, of course, and I requested the proof of fund, and I told them that the seller was out of town, but I could show it to them. But I mentioned, we are selling the lot. We are not selling the building. You get the building for free, but they insisted they want to see inside the building as well. And I had a feeling that they are very legit and they really would like it after I talked to them for a few times. And finally, I asked the owner, the seller, to allow me to show the inside while they were away. And they didn't mind it. On the first showing that I had with the buyer, it was a movie casting in the property. We had to go around them to see the place. We looked at the lot first, we went around the waterfront, and we went inside the house to show them the house. And they fall in love. I could tell that house is sold. The buyer's agent and I went back and forth and we discussed few options and prices and how we can do it and how we should do it. And finally, I submitted $8.1 million offer to the seller and they accepted it. The $8,100,000 offer for 5030 Sunrise Drive South in St. Petersburg was a cash offer and a fast closing. And of course, the buyer was anxious to close as soon as possible. And the seller was traveling again, but I made sure that we don't make the same mistake we made last time. We set the closing on April 2023, and we are closed. My first listing, my first feasible listing 
starting January 2022 is closed on April 2023. 16 months of constant work and effort, but it's well paid off. Thank you to the buyer and the seller. It was an honor and I hope I can do more of it. Thank you.